YouTube advertisements are about the same as stubbing your toe. You'll be minding your business, wandering the inner space, just scrolling, having a good time, when all of a sudden, bam, you whack your big toe off of an advertisement of a woman with her legs spread and her tits out. And you think, oh boy, I was not expecting to see that on a family-friendly platform such as YouTube. I guess whoever's in charge of that must feel really proud of themselves. If you saw the first video I made about this, then you'll know back then I didn't have a big red zit on the middle of my forehead. Now I do. Let's get that out of the way. You'll also know that a lot of these advertisements I talked about were not only dog shit, not only totally uninformative, misrepresenting the source material or whatever the fuck they're trying to advertise in the first place. Most of the time it's just false. So you believe it as a crazy schizo and you click on it thinking, oh, this will lead me to something good. And it almost never does. So today I wanted to talk about some more advertisements because over the last few months, I've decided to scroll through the inner space yet again, late at night when I can't sleep due to my insomnia. I just wanted to go over a few of them today because holy fucking shit. Would you believe me if I said it gets even more redundant, tedious, and explicit, I should say? All right, I'll stop wasting your time. Let's get into it. Oh, neat. Another cutesy wootsy portrait of itty bitty animals. Aw, uh -huh, and they're so cute. So fucking generic and capitalized as America loves to do. Animals can't ever just be themselves without having someone to make a mockery of their existence by throwing them in these garbage ads. Looking at these ones makes me sick. If it were real animals, I wouldn't be so harsh, but you can tell by looking closely at the two fat cats that they're not real. I suppose they could be, but they look more AI generated than anything. The lighting on both of the human hands is inconsistent. It doesn't look like they're actually there, though I'm sure the ad endorser probably knew that and posted it anyways because fuck you, give me money. This is an advert for a combo flashlight device that comes with a green laser and UV beam. Why are they shining the fucking ultraviolet on the dog? Are they actively unaware of how dangerous that could be, or are they just stupid? Why is it necessary? Did someone rub their nuts on the poor dog's face and want to see the imprint for themselves as some sort of sick and demented self-sustaining fetish? Maybe that's why the advert says your furry friend will ask for an encore, whatever the fuck that means. But also, why would I need this? Who specifically asks for a laser flashlight UV ray besides maybe Kyle Crane or Sam Fisher? The flashlight in the first picture doesn't match the one in the second, and in the third photo, you don't see a flashlight at all. Talk about great advertising when you can't even fucking pinpoint the appearance of your product. Is it orange or is it black? Do you get a choice? That's just the first one, and maybe that might have seemed like a stretch, but wait till you see the others. Well, safe to say I wasn't expecting to see the basketball tiger make a comeback in this corporeal realm. I feel like I'm witnessing the birth of a cinematic universe within these AI ads alone. This must be the tiger's second chapter of its long journey, taking a selfie while intoxicated in the locker room as his buddies start fucking roughhousing. Looks like a wild party. I almost expected to see one of the damn things snorting a line. How much more uncanny and fucking weird can you- What? What the fuck? What am I looking at? If that's supposed to be a tiger, then the AI is having a really hard time understanding what one would look like. It's definitely not an animal. That thing isn't even fucking human. It looks like a skinwalker shedding the skin off of its last victim and returning to original form just as the photo was taken. It's terrifying. And what's going on up there? Is he getting punched in the face? I'd love to see this party for myself in person, but at the same time, I don't want that goddamn thing coming anywhere near me. Oh, thank you so much for this, Google. Thank you for telling me how easy it is to pay for ad space by paying for ad space to advertise your ad space. Do you ever read your thoughts out loud to yourself before you make decisions, or is there a gerbil in your corporate mind still stuck on a spinning wheel? Don't answer that. I'm just curious because you seem to enjoy making consecutively awful choices in the ad campaign. But this, if anything, just proves to me you don't give a shit about your ads. I understand that from this ad, they're saying you can pay as a local business to advertise yourself. But it's also like saying, hey, wanna give us some money? Sure, we'll happily take it. Advertise your garbage dumpster fire mobile games and porn bait switches or local businesses. Anything to give us another dime. Must be nice to have money. If I had any, I'd probably do something real risky like provide for my family, ooh. The dog is cute though. Why are corporations insisting on utilizing AI to sell more of their fucking product? Has anyone here ever even used Mucinex? I remember growing up with the commercials that starred TJ Miller before he was accused of being a sexual abuser. They were quirky, I guess, but I never had to use the product specifically. Why does everyone think attaching AI to their ads will attract more attention? 
Are they really so unoriginal and untalented that they can't come up with their own marketing? They have to rely on a fucking computer? Oh, for fuck's sake. First the tiger, now the goat himself. Jesus, what's fucking next? A giraffe doing a layup while a rhinoceros tries to block the shot? What could the prompt have been for something like this, I wonder? Did he type badass ram dunking while suffering from steroid abuse? One arm looks dangerously less animated than the other, showing a close resemblance to that of a human's bicep, whereas the other one is more anatomic. He's also not jumping high enough at all. It looks like he's gonna hit his face off the rim. If you squint your eyes real tight, you'll notice that the court itself is misshapen, bent, warped. Like I'm in a nightmare and misremembering the appearance as I stand there confused and dazed. There is much else to say really. Unlike the tiger photo, this one doesn't have many mistakes. It's just another weird addition to the AI universe that I've had the luxury of discovering. Fucking great. Ah, oh, what a stupid thing to see just before bed. A grown man holding a stack of fat cash to lure you into it. It's hilarious how so many rich assholes like this dude think that money equals success when I believe success is a self-earned title that you find within yourself at a specific time. It's a moment that you're extremely proud of, and then some. What I mean is, I don't think success is measured by wealth. Something you can surely work towards financially and physically. But I promise you this, you're not gonna learn shit from Grant Cardone. According to him, the millionaire mastermind, I don't have all the secrets unlocked. I haven't entered the cheat codes correctly and now I'm suffering for it. So, Grant, rich genius of the century, what exactly are you advertising? Oh, it's just a thousand dollar training course on how to get rich quick. Yeah, you gotta be really fucking dumb to fall for these in today's day and age, but apparently people do, otherwise he wouldn't be making seminars out of milking desperate people dry. This is someone who nobody has heard of. He's an absolute nobody who has published fake books and sells nothing in the hopes of profiting off of poor people. I've said it before and I'll say it again, go fuck yourself if you're this type of person. It's been a while since you've been laid, we know, but that doesn't mean you have to steal from the poor like a little dicked douchebag would. YouTube's inability to recognize this absolute trash of a scam is hilarious to me, but I seriously feel bad for anyone falling for anything that men like him try to preach. They preach nothing to you. You're better off playing lottery tickets than listening to his advice. Fuck him, this ad sucks. Talk about a ridiculous ad. So which statement is the true one? In this Jeff Bozos infested brain rot, it says you can get an Amazon warehouse position for up to $45 an hour. Sounds like a fucking dream come true to me. But then immediately beneath it, I see that it says they're hiring for $20 an hour. Still decent money, but much less than what the fuck they threw in our faces at first. Also, isn't there a no bathroom policy implemented by Jeff Bozos himself? Why would I want to work for a company that denies its employees basic human necessities? I don't actually know, I'm just cracking jokes. Maybe Jeff Bozos is actually a decent guy and has a lot of friends. Or maybe scallops will fly out of my fucking pants. Zero out of ten ad. Now it's getting interesting, ladies and gents. We've entered the strangest side of YouTube ads that we could have possibly gone. A fucking mukbang recommendation. I've never watched mukbang in my life. It sounds like a very vulgar category of pornography. But no, it's just a weird category of people on YouTube who chew their food and record the disgusting noises of their mouths as they crunch and swallow whatever expensive meal they bought. I'd rather eat paint and watch it dry my insides. You're telling me there are men and women who enjoy this shit? Look, I've got nothing against ASMR. I personally like to dive into a couple of the videos from time to time when I'm feeling a bit stressed. Some of them can be therapeutic. But this doesn't strike me as interesting content, especially when the entire goal is to fixate on someone else enjoying a meal that I could have bought myself. Sorry, Jen, I'm gonna go do something more interesting and less, uh, weird. I suppose if zombies rose up from the ground and became sentient, they'd probably start uploading human mukbangs. Hopefully they don't pay to have it advertised, though. What? Is it with weirdos and making video games where the entire plot is big oiled boobs and thick juicy asses? Is there an actual fucking story to this shit heap or is it just another anime manga fanfic writer's sick and twisted fantasy? I don't even get it. Monster never cry? You mean fucking devil may cry? That seems a bit infringing if not dangerously close to the original game franchise. So you know whoever made it did that on purpose. What's the story anyway? A bunch of feminine mechs take over the world and spread joy by bouncing their tits and ass all over the place? Do they defeat the main villain by clapping their asses together or something? Not exactly the greatest idea for an anime, let alone a game. Join over a million players, huh? I find that statistic to be classified under a term that I'll quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. Bullshit. Uh, what?
Okay, so living in the United States, I'm not shocked that sometimes I get ads like this one where there's not really a point to clicking on it because I can't understand a fucking word it says. That's my American brain being too stupid to learn other languages. Anyway, this ad struck me the moment I discovered it, and I'm still confused. What is this? A tutorial for how to read your partner's face? It, is it telling me the proper way to read her expression to see if she supports me or not? I mean, in a relationship, communication is the key gateway to understanding things you either feel great or bad about. Discussing these tough but emotional moments between you and your partner can sometimes have some strange effects in certain ways, but when you discuss these very tough and important things together, you are essentially creating a stronger bond and therefore being a better partner. This is just strange. Why would I need some random guy from another side of the world telling me how to read my partner's facial cues? It's not rocket science. I feel like even the most troglodyte human beings that exist can interpret what physical emotions look like in a face. It's hardwired into our fucking brains to react naturally to stuff like that and process it. This just seems weird, like I was flicking through channels on the TV and came across a commercial that only airs once and never again. Sorry, Grandmaster, I'm not subscribing. You wasted your money on this terrible ad. This is probably the last one I'm gonna talk about because this shit needs to end. It's an ad for a game, I assume, but what the plot could be, I have no fucking idea. The girl is told to write in her diary every night, but then randomly wakes up and forgets who she is? So what then? Does she read the diary and instantly remember? Like, what fucking high schooler came up with this fanfiction? Why is she saying goodnight in the second panel? There's nobody else there. They never established she was around anyone else, so why the fuck is she just saying goodnight? Who, who sleeps alone and tells themselves goodnight? Memento Mori? Reminds me of Unis Anis. I bet this game has absolutely nothing to do with that because it would mean they would have made a better ad. Dive into Destiny? What the fuck? What Destiny? She wakes up and forgets who she is. She should probably get checked into a mental illness clinic before going on her fateful journey of whatever. This time around, I didn't find much to work with. Admittedly, the ads are better than last time I talked about them, but they're always going to be a repetitive issue in our day and age, and as we grow, I'm sure it's only gonna get worse. You guys have done a lot for me just by being here and watching, so I promise for a while I'll focus my videos on gaming again. This shit just gives me a headache, and what's even the point in discussing it if YouTube doesn't care either. They hardly even care about us. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.